Hey everybody, Greg here at Video Maker. Today we're going to do some mic tests. So we get asked the question a lot, which microphone is the best to use for video production? And the truth is it sort of depends on what type of production you're doing. So today we're going to take a handheld mic, a lavalier mic, a shotgun mic, and even the on-camera mic and test them out in some various positions. But in order to do that, we're not going to just leave a nice quiet room like it is now. We're actually going to add a little bit of noise just so you can sort of hear how good or not good these mics are at rejecting noise as well. So without further ado, I'm going to turn on the noise. All right, let's get started. So this is our camera mic. Uh, obviously, you can tell that it's pretty far away from me, uh, maybe around seven feet or so. So, you know, definitely not an ideal situation here because in order to get the mic closer, we'd obviously have to change our shot. So, uh, there you have it. I've got this handheld mic. It's a dynamic mic. It's from uh, Audio-Technica. And basically, I'm just holding it sort of as I would, you know, if I was going to be on camera and we didn't mind if the mic was showing. So, you know, you can definitely hear what this sounds like. Um, so, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a different type of mic and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with it. So, let's do that. So this is the Countryman B6 Lavalier microphone, along with the uh, Sennheiser EW112 uh, wireless system. And obviously, you can tell that the mic is hidden because you can't see it. Actually, and you're probably going to get a little clothing rustle right here, but it's actually just tucked right in here. So you can see that, uh, you know, this is a, definitely a valid option if you need a little bit of a closer miking situation. You know, definitely susceptible to clothing wrestle or, you know, if it's a long hair uh, subject, you know, you can hide it behind their hair. So you have to deal with that sensitivity, but at the same time, pretty well hidden, nice low profile. Now, you know, other bigger lavalier mics might not be quite so easy to hide, but this one's about a tenth of an inch long, so it's pretty easy to hide. Okay, let's check out another setup. All right, so this is our lavalier mic. Obviously, you can see it, so you know this wouldn't be appropriate for narrative material, uh, but it definitely gives you an idea on, uh, you know, if you're doing interviews and it's a documentary, or you just don't care if there's a little bit of a mic showing, um, then this is definitely a valid placement. And you know, they're designed to be put right here, so um, as you can tell, it sounds great, and uh, you know, it's still pretty low profile, so it's not super noticeable like a handheld mic is. So you know, definitely a valid alternative. Okay, so this is a Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone. Obviously, you wouldn't normally see it used this way. Um, might even be getting a little rustling noise here, I'm not sure. Uh, but the point here is, uh, this is sort of a good comparison for what a shotgun mic would sound like if you used it like a dynamic microphone. Um, so that's this test, and let's move on to the next one. All right, so here's another shot using a, a different kind of shotgun microphone. This one has a little bit more of a narrow pickup pattern than the last one you heard. Uh, this is the DPA MMC 4017. So obviously, again, we probably wouldn't use it like this under normal circumstances. You know, they're sensitive to handling noise and that type of thing. But again, just for comparison purposes, this is what it sounds like. So let's move on to the next one. So this setup has our dynamic handheld microphone, the cardioid pickup pattern, placed right up here where a shotgun mic would normally go. So you can probably definitely hear the difference. The volume level is probably a little bit low and that's because we are fully maxed out on our gain for our audio recorder. So, you know, this is what you get when you try to use a handheld microphone like a shotgun microphone. So this is the Countryman B6 place where a shotgun microphone would normally be placed just right up here out of the frame. Uh, you know, not necessarily the recommended use of this mic. Um, we did have to boost the gain on the Sennheiser receiver in order to just get a healthy level because basically the gain on our uh, audio recorder was maxed out. So, you know, uh, but this is what it would sound like. So probably not the number one application for it, but uh, a good comparison nonetheless. In this shot, we're using the Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone just like it should be used. It's placed just out of the shot right up here. And basically, you can tell that we're still getting a really healthy signal. In fact, we're not even, we're just barely over halfway up on our gain, so still plenty of lead room. So, you know, this mic could be backed off even further, and we've got plenty of room to get a nice healthy signal from it because it's basically designed to do exactly what it's doing, and that's be out of the shot, uh, but pick up good audio. So, um, there you have it. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the DPA MMC 4017 used like a traditional shotgun mic would be. So this is a fairly good representation of what this mic should and would sound like. Um, it's just out of the frame here, so it's still relatively close. But again, you know, we're not pushing our gain too hard. There's still a lot of lead room there. And, you know, we've obviously got a nice healthy signal. Um, you may or may not notice a little bit of a difference in how much background noise it picks up. Um, it definitely has a narrower pickup pattern. So, you know, it is what it is. And it's a good comparison to hear what it sounds like against other types of mics. So there you have it, a quick mic test of, wait. 
Ah, <sighs> so there you have it. A quick mic test of lavaliers, handhelds, shotguns, and even on-camera mics. Hopefully this will help you understand what different mics are good at and what maybe they're not so good at and help you make an informed decision the next time you're looking to buy a mic. Thanks for watching.